This is Kathy. She is married but still works on her father's farm looking after the animals. This is Chris. She is a school teacher and enjoys going motor racing with her husband. She helps him acting as his timekeeper. Here is Brenda. She is a lecturer at a College of Physical Education. Now this houseboat on the River Thames was Melvin's home for nine years. She is now on her way to Wembley to play in an international hockey match. The others are going there too. They're all very keen hockey players. Here at Wembley, they join the rest of the English team and meet their opponents. Thousands of excited schoolgirls will roar their support when the match begins. Each member of the team has played hockey for her club, county and territory before being selected to play for England. This, of course, is the greatest honour of all. How is this high standard of hockey achieved? Well, firstly, by natural ability and then by practising and practising and acquiring all the skills and working out the tactics. In all games, the aim is to score and here at Wembley Stadium, you see the 11 English players combining skillfully as a team to avoid their opponents and so score. Notice the different passes that can be used. A square pass, diagonal through the gap, straight forward and then with stick reversed ending in a shot at goal. Look again, square, diagonal, straight forward, and with stick reversed. Denise, a forward, uses the drive for a shot at goal, while Jenny, a defence player, uses the same stroke to clear the ball away from goal. The drive is very important. Hands are together at the top, the stick lifted directly back. The player steps as she hits the ball with her left arm straight and stick upright at the moment of impact. Her head is well over the ball and then a good follow through with the stick. The left shoulder 
and foot point in the direction the ball is to go. For a hit to the left or right, the feet obviously have to be moved. Watch this right wing move her feet before she centers the ball to the left. The stroke is made in just the same way by other members of the team. In these games, you can see the wings centering the ball. Here, Brenda makes a good hard drive at goal. An obstacle in the goal will divide it and give space into which to aim. A drive is used when taking this corner but the shot at goal might need to be much quicker, so a push stroke is used. For the push stroke, the head is over the ball, one foot forward, and the stick close to the ball for as long as possible. Look at the hands. With no lengthy back lift, the stroke is quick, powerful and accurate. Notice too the good follow through. A good plan is to practice aiming at tins, skittles, a wall, or even a tree. These players are watching the ball very carefully as it travels diagonally from stick to stick, making it easy to collect, control and then pass again. A flick stroke is even quicker. Janet sends the ball into goal by deceiving the goalkeeper. This stroke is done by a quick movement of the wrists. The ball is well in front of her and it spins and lifts a little bit. In this practice, the rope across the goal helps players to lift the ball to varying heights. The speed of the stroke is varied too. Goalkeepers would find some of these flicks difficult to cope with. High flicks, if controlled, might find the top of the goal. A flick is a useful stroke for avoiding an opponent in a crowded situation, or as a pass provided it is used intelligently. Here is a long flick stroke ahead for another player to collect. This left wing is preparing to receive one of these passes. The flat side of her stick faces the ball 
so that it can be guided and controlled. A ball that bounces or slides off is a wasted pass. If the top half of the body is turned, then the turning of the stick comes naturally. This player shows where she wants it. She expects it, collects it, and uses it, and her feet move very quickly. If the ball comes slowly, or the player is hard pressed, she must run to meet it to give herself more time and more room in which to manoeuvre. Watch Brenda receiving these good passes. Once in possession of the ball, a player can pass, run, or run and dodge. Denise shows four different dodges. Opponents must be avoided. One way to do this is to put the ball to the right, but run to the left, getting back on the same path as soon as possible. Or the ball can be pulled to the left, but here the feet must be kept outside the whole time. A practice like this would help a player to keep the ball on her stick, and yet her feet outside. Notice how close the ball is to the skittles. With the reverse dodge, the player's shoulders must be kept square. Just a quick reverse of the stick and away. To practice dodging in different directions, the skittles are placed anyhow at varying distances. Defence players use the same kind of dodges too, round their opponents. As Cathy scoops the ball, she bends her knees quickly, flattens her stick, which is well in front of her, and gives the ball a small lift. Different situations demand different dodges and strokes. Watch how Val gets herself out of a tight corner. A 
A change of speed can be a very effective dodge, both in defence and attack. But what about tackling a player who has possession of the ball? Never rush in. This player shows how to approach steadily. Stick on the ground and eye on the ball. Her grip is firm and hands slightly apart. The ball can be trapped, or better still, pulled away at the moment when the owner has it out of control. If an opponent has to be chased, it's important to get well past her before playing the ball in order to avoid obstruction. Immediately a defence player has got the ball, she can start an attack for her own side. In this attack, the situation is saved by the goalkeeper, who is the last line of defence, yet the first line of attack. Hazel's clothing is sensible and warm, but it doesn't stop her moving quickly. She makes her marks on the pitch, so that she will know the width of the goal and her relative position when she needs to come out. She hopes that the shining white pads she wears and neat kickers will catch the forward's eye and make them shoot straight at her instead of into a space. She holds her stick comfortably in her right hand. Each of these shots from different angles is cleared with a clean flat kick. Watch how Hazel gets back immediately into position ready for the next shot. The ball may be kicked with the inside, outside or toe of either foot, often the insteps used too. If the ball bounces, Hazel gets her pads together and bends her knees slightly so that she can bring the ball down in front and then clear it straight away. Her head is over the ball as she kicks and she tries to clear to one of her own side or into a space. Hazel uses her hand to bring a high ball straight down to the ground so that she can safely kick it. Notice that she wears leather gloves to protect her hand. As a forward approaches, the goalkeeper anticipates the direction and covers the angle of her shot. Only a small area of the goal is left open and even that is covered by her stick. When only one defence is left, the goalkeeper covers her rather than waiting back in the goal mouth. Here at Wembley, Hazel warms up by practising. Here she is making her marks and she's soon going to be ready for action in this international match, England versus the Netherlands. Thank you. 